Hey everybody, um, this is a follow-up to the video I posted just a couple of days ago on the uh, contrast and uh, exposure settings for the Mavic, excuse me, the uh, Phantom 4 Pro. Uh, I had issues with it and uh, in that test I used decent like none and art with the as the uh, color profiles but a couple of days earlier I did a test my first test my first flight with the um, uh, the Phantom 4 Pro and I used a D log as the color profile on that and I was just totally horrified by the results I got from it so in this video and we'll get to that here shortly uh, you'll see um, clips from that first flight and uh, I'll also superimpose on that video of the lumetriscope and histogram of the um, of the video as it's playing. So you can see what the uh, the brightness levels are in both the lumetriscope and in the histogram. And make note of a couple of things. First, uh, although in a number of the images, many of them in fact, the sky is totally blown out. And yet the max value in the lumetriscope is like 73, 75 at most. And in many cases the bit values are getting nowhere near, you know, 255, which doesn't make sense. If the sky is blown out, it should be maxing out at 100 IRE and 255 on the bit values. Uh, the other thing to notice uh, is that there is a kind of blossoming and, and pulsing effect in the video, and you can see that in the lumetri scopes in particular, once a second, once a second, every 30 frames. And I can single step uh, use in Premiere Pro and see it, it's absolutely every 30 frames. It's not 31 or 32, and it's not changing, it's 30 frames. So uh, it seems to me that's uh, tied to the iframe reset in the IPB you know, uh, codec. So, um, and there's the last thing to notice is, and you'll notice is in the very first scene, which I shot indoors in low light conditions, so I had the ISO turned up. I wasn't expecting, you know, great video from it, but the artifact that I saw was this kind of washing across the screen diagonally from top left to bottom right, almost like a dirty sheet of glass being pulled across the sensor. And you see it kind of pulsing and resetting once a second. Again, uh, later on in the video, almost at the very end, the last clip of the drone footage, you will see um, a flying over this pond of water and the dark water has a similar pulsing and kind of less obvious but that kind of diagonal washing across the screen as well so now that's with D log as the color profile and with max values around 70 75 you know it's it's like it's just cutting things off and and and, and crushing it in there that's not the way it's supposed to do it you're supposed to use a gamma curve in any case, uh, take a look at the video, pay particular attention to the blossoming and, you know, and, and expanding and contracting once a second. Um, notice also the uh, lumetri and histograms are way lower than they should be with the sky blown out. Uh, and then contrast that with the last two clips I use as kind of a control in this video from my G85, Panasonic G85 camera. And you'll notice that um, I got values all the way from 100 down to zero. It's <coughs> using default settings, so it was it was uh, pegging the uh, the uh, the lumetriscope from 100 down to zero, and the histogram from 255 to zero. Uh, and also, you don't see it pulsing. All right, test shot indoors, high ISO. Notice the diagonal washing across the screen from top left to bottom right and that it's flickering about once a second or every 30 frames. Again, this was indoor test shot uh, at high ISO, so I didn't expect much, but that diagonal washing effect, uh, you'll see that again. First flight in the drone. Um, this is using D-Log, and notice the sky is completely blown out, and yet the Lumetri scope is showing just over 70 and the histogram is maxing out around about 200 in the blue yet the sky is totally blown out 
That isn't possible. Again, sky in the top uh, right corner is blown out, and we're seeing uh, Lumetri Valley's peaking around 73-ish, and um, bit values in the histogram in the blue, which is the highest value, uh, just over 200. But with the sky blown out like that, we should be, you know, about 100 IRE and 255 in the blue at least. And more of the same. Look at the Lumetri scope, how it's kind of pulsing. It's blossoming about once a second or every 30 frames, which coincides with an iframe reset once every 30 frames. Um, it's noticeable here, but more noticeable in some of the other shots. Actually, you can see it there a little bit better in the, in the Lumetri scope. Uh, again, sky is blown out in the top right corner, and we're seeing blue values as, as our max around 72 or so IRE and 210, 217 in the uh, bit values. So we should be pegging this, the uh, the Lumetri at 100 with the sky blown out the way it is, and we should be seeing 255s on the uh, bit values, but we're not. Notice the water surface here, which is kind of shadow detail. It has that pulsing every second, and you'll also notice a kind of washing across the screen uh, from top left to bottom right similar to the uh, in indoor footage, though not quite as apparent here because of the background video, back background image, but similar kind of diagonal washing across the screen. And flickering once a second or every 30 frames. Uh, but lest you uh, suspect that, you know, all cameras do this, this next uh, scene coming up is with my uh, Panasonic G85 that doesn't have that problem. And here we are. So here's the G85. Notice that the Lumetries are going from 0 to 100, basically covering the full scale. So some of the image is blown a little bit and some of it's crushed in the shadows. But notice there's no flickering. We don't see that blossoming and pulsing every uh, 30 frames. Similarly here too. Uh, we have just a hint of a couple of things uh, blown out, very, very little, uh, but we're crushed at the bottom a little bit. No flickering. Okay, so um, in this video, using D-Log, uh, you can see that things are just not working correctly. Whatever D uh, DJI is doing, it's not standard, it's not appropriate, it's not working. And D-Log, which should be the preferred uh, color profile for post-processing work is probably the worst color profile you could use. And that's disappointing. Um, with the max values at 70, 75, it's, and then that pulsing effect, it's just not working. Um, the previous video I did, I uh, posted the other day, Using decity like none and art uh, is better, definitely better, uh, but you still have that pulsing effect. And um, it seems to me, and I've mentioned it repeatedly in the previous video, DJI just is clueless about image processing. And 
one only hopes that they partner with Panasonic or somebody else to uh, to to put, uh, get their act together because they don't know what they're doing. They they do not know what they're doing. So um, at this point, I'm kind of leaning towards using none as the color profile, <coughs> and uh, probably in the custom setting where you normally do like a minus one or minus two for the sharpness or minus one minus two for the contrast maybe a minus one minus two in the saturation um, at least for the contrast you want to set that at zero because and you would like to set it down to like minus one minus two maybe minus three but uh, because of the way DJI improperly handles dynamic range compression and then whatever they're doing that's interacting with the um, the uh, codec for compressing it into uh, the, the video stream, they're just clueless on it. And your best bet at this point um, is, I think, to use the none color style, zero for your um, contrast setting, if you're going to use a, a custom contrast setting. Probably still want to do at least a minus one on the sharpening and give that a shot and probably a minus one or so in the saturation as well but um, definitely leave the contrast at zero otherwise you leave it up to DJI's piss poor um, image processing to, 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 to figure out how to do it and they don't know how to figure out how to do it so that's my recommendations at this point and uh, thanks for watching